What's up everybody, my name's Gurlin here bringing you guys another episode of Nuketown. Last time we left off, I was super close to making that uh, nuclear reactor. Well, I made the nuclear reactor, and uh, I told you guys I'd show you exactly where I am going to put it. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys where I'm going to put it, actually, because I learned that Viri is watching my videos, and he saw that I, I took his overclockers. He wasn't too happy about that. Oh well. But uh, I have my outfit ready, completely ready. I'll show you guys right now. Ah, uh, look at that hazmat suit. This is my uh, suit that I'm going to be using to work with my nuclear reactor. Because if it blows up, I won't get poisoning. Uh, and it will protect me from any bit of damage that I might take. And I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy about that. Any little damage that uh, will happen to me will be uh, taken by the suit. So, we have that much done. Uh, so far, I have all the materials needed. I can't show you guys exactly what they are. Well, this is exactly what... <laughs> I'm showing you exactly what they are right now. Uh, a lot of these things uh, take a little while to get, which I already had a lot of the material for. Lucky me, I didn't have to steal anything from Viri for this one. So all I need to do right now is get my nuclear reactor and maybe one chamber. I only need one chamber for it. Uh, so I need to find a spot for it, and I will... Be back as soon as I find a spot for it, <laughs> for you guys to see. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Ooh, we're back, and uh, let's just say we have a little bit of it done. I uh, figured out most of the things, and I've put it together. You put the reactor back there so that it has a extra slot that you can do stuff with. Uh, and this is the layout for it. Um, I don't really care if Viri sees this video because that would make us on even terms. Being that I already have all the materials needed, and he has all the materials needed for his. So, I'm going to explain this a little bit. Uh, something you need, because this is going to be an advanced kind of uh, reactor, it's not made for power output. At least I'm not using it for power output. The way I have all these reactor heat exchangers and uh, overclock heat vents, uh, the way I have them is that you know it doesn't blow up. It is the safest way to do it without you know pushing your luck. Uh, but I'm using this as a breeder instead of a actual, you know, other thing. So, what I, from what I understand, is that uranium goes. If you want to use power, you put uranium here. I can't show you guys what I'm going to be putting inside of this, instead of these two spots here. I'll show. I'll tell you that here and here and here and here are all going to be. Uh, I forgot you guys can't see my mouse, but whatever the, the spots that are lighting up here, here here and here are all going to be uranium cells. Those are going to be putting out power, which I won't be using. It's going to be, the power is not going to be going anywhere. I'm not too interested in the power. I'm using this as a breeder and only a breeder. Uh, this is in a safe spot. Uh, just so you guys know, it's not going to blow up any part of my house, which is great. Uh, it's as far away as I can get, <laughs> apparently. Uh, you know, I forgot that the minimap was there, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what I have. I will give you guys a little bit of an update in a bit. See if uh, I can get the refined uranium cell. Or actually, you know what? I want you guys. I wanna. I wanna show. I wanna show. This is actually not far away from my house. This is inside my house. This is my first quarry, actually. Uh, it's actually right here. I'm putting myself in the biggest risk I can. Because I want this to be really fair. Uh, if I blow up, I blow up. Viri's reactor is in the smack dab in the middle of his house, and I want the same. I want the same uh, experience that he's going to have if his messes up as well. So, what I have now is a uranium cell. I have four uranium cells that are going to go in those four spots that I showed you, and. I don't know if I want to show you guys what these, what these four things are, because those are the main key components of what I am going to need. Um, ah, darn it. It's, I want this to be fair, but I want to win at the same time. Uh, and since I have stolen a lot from Viri, I can at least show him the basics of what I've been, or the basic of what I, what I plan to do. Here, 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 and here are all uranium cells. Now, what you need to do is get depleted isotope cells. How to make a depleted isotope cell is you go here, 
isotope cell, you do a near depleted uranium cell with some coal dust. To get a near depleted uranium cell, you surround one refined uranium in a empty cell. Instead of the old version of how you would do just a regular uranium cell, which is, you know, uranium next to a cell, which is pretty easy. Uh, I'm not going to be, I'm, I don't feel like re-enriching in a re-enriched uh, uranium cell because that would be pointless because I need this. This is the one thing I need. Now, the way this works is that you put these here. And honestly, I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm hoping that these advanced heat vents and everything that I've already put together will keep it from blowing up. Uh, and I'm really hoping, I'm really, really hoping it works. Um, just to say I haven't done this before. I simply did a bunch of research before I could even try making any of these things. And why are these green lines still here? I swear I had them before. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, I like it, though. It's, it's cool. That, like, the different chunks you step in, it just lights up like that. That's cool. Uh, I need a lever. I don't want to turn it on just yet. I want to turn it on. I really do. I want to turn it on. So bad. I don't have any wood, though, which uh, sucks pretty bad. Uh, do I have something? I do not. I do not have wood. I, that sucks pretty bad. <laughs> I was gonna show you guys exactly how this works, but uh, whatever. The way I can tell you guys it works is that the nearly depleted isotope cells are re-enriched by being next to the uranium cells, and this is pretty much is a tutorial on how to make a nuke because nukes are really hard to make. <laughs> These things are ridiculously hard. I don't understand. Who in their right mind decided to make uranium cells so hard to make, but or nukes so hard to make? But uh, once I get the reason why I have four of them is because I need four uh, re-enriched uranium cells because a nuke, I'll show you guys right now, needs four re-enriched uranium cells as well as uranium blocks. Oops, uh, an advanced machine, advanced alloy, carbon plates, and stuff like that and advanced circuits, which I can all make. Uh, I guess that's all I can show you guys for now. I'm going to be making the advanced machine block and the advanced circuits off camera and the uranium blocks off camera just so you guys know exactly what I'm doing uh, so I can have these things next to the re reactor just in case things go wrong. They all go away at the same time. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's all that I've got going for me. Uh, wish me luck in trying to beat Viri. I've, I've been trying really hard. I did my research as much as I could. And uh, just hope it, it paid off. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Peace out, everybody. Bye.